Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on understanding the search feature of a .NET Nuke website. So here's a standard installation of .NET Nuke. This is .NET Nuke 541 and this is our test site. So, um, so what I mean by search is the search box that you can see on top of uh, the standard skin of .NET Nook. And again, this is a standard skin, but your skin, your own skin, may have that search box as well if you have uh, if, if you have the the search uh, skin uh, tag, the, the skin object. But again, the, the idea is not so much to talk about the skin side, but to talk about the feature side of the of the search um, search mod research uh, component of .NET Nook. Now, uh, basically, the way it works is any text content in the website you would be able to find by typing uh, a word in the search box of the website. So let's say let's uh, let's try to to see if we can find review. And again, we have review here in the content. Let's see if we can find this. Yep, we can find it. Uh, it again, we just have one page. That's the standard. Uh, template of uh, .NET Nook. So yes, it did find. Uh, now, I just want to go in and really understand the ins and outs of of the search feature. Let's let's log into the website as as host. So the first thing that uh, I would want to to show is that each and every uh, default installation of .NET Nook comes with a page called uh, search results. So this is a standard page that comes with uh, .NET Nook, any .NET Nook installation. If you go to that page, uh, you will see a search results uh, module uh, that on the top side. I'm not getting to uh, right now about this, this, this module here that says results, but this search results uh, module is the same one that shows the drop down of module that says search results. But again, it's just a, a page that comes by default and the module comes inside this page by default. So again, if, if your site does not have a page with the search results module on it, what will happen is that if you try to search, you will get nowhere. You, you will be, you will not be able to see any results. So, uh, just make sure that uh, if you want to use the search results, you do have to have a page in the site that has the search results uh, module on it. Okay, that's the first thing that I want to show. Now, the second thing is let's understand a little bit about the the settings of the search results module. Very simple. The settings are quite straightforward, but I just want to go through them. Maximum search results. This will basically say how many entries uh, will will be returned from the database. You, the, the site may be uh, very, very large, very big, so you may want to restrict the maximum number of results that will come back. Uh, number of results per page, so the full value here is 10. Uh, you can say how many results will come per page. You may say 20, you may say, if you leave it open like this, it will come, uh, uh, it will come 10 results per page. Maximum title length. This is the, the, the title results that comes. This is the number of characters that, uh, you want to, to put it there, that, that it shows up. And maximum description length. That's the details of the search results. How many characters you want to bring, uh, for the title. Max, uh, the default length is no maximum. And the same thing for description. If you don't put anything, there's no maximum. And there's also something called show description, uh, which uh, show more details about the search results. You can you can switch that on and off. I think this by default is off, and I have that checked prior to to starting this page. Okay, so let's click update, and again let's just understand a little bit about the results. Let's search for review. Okay, so this is research, search results. Relevance, to be honest, I have never understood completely what is that relevance about. Um, but it does bring a, a relevance, num relevance number. Uh, this is the 
the snippet of the text that uh, has the the search uh, term that I have uh, entered. This is the link to the URL. And here, prior to this dash, there should be a uh, the title of the module that uh, that this text is uh, that this text resides on. So there is no title for for this module in this case. So it's basically blank here. This is the end of part one of the video explaining the search feature in the .NET Nook website.